We are only 10 days away from leaving for Oshkosh with the Elvis jet and we just have a couple of things left to do. Pause for dramatic effect. On the back, we've got our door, of course, that we still need to finish up. They have a little panel here so we can check oil and what have you. This is gonna be louvered so we can get some airflow through here for the radiator. They're doing the bumper right now as we speak. Uh, by the end of the video, that's gonna be on. We're gonna have lights in it. The other thing, follow me around to the front. They're finishing this up as well, the cap that's gonna go over that. We have Grizzly up here. That's his arm. That's kind of funny. So that's Grizzly's arm. I would say wave. <laughs> He's been working on three days to get that stupid window out of there and replace because that one's all cracked and well, I'm sure we're gonna be pulled over multiple times by multiple state patrol and we don't wanna give them any excuse beyond the obvious one uh, for any tickets. But we're fully expecting to get to meet some of our finest in blue. Okay, and the headlights. Yes, there was like 10,000 comments on the last video. Boo, 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 boo about the headlights and the low beam goes on the outside because I had them flipped. So when we put them in, we'll make sure that the high beams are there and low beams are on the outside. The other comment was about the, the height from here back to the wheels and called an approach angle. So if we have to go over railroad tracks or go over a ditch or something like that, the nose is not gonna go and bash into the ground and then we're kind of stuck. I think we're gonna be okay with that. It is, it's higher than what I thought. And with the airbags lifted up, we'll get another few inches out of it. The biggest thing that I'm excited about is those two guys back there. We got Jimmy, who you guys have seen a whole bunch of times. I mean, he's done all the vinyl letters and wraps and all that other stuff uh, on all the airplanes. And we're vinyl wrapping this one. It's gonna have the same paint scheme as the original. It's just gonna be shiny and newer, and he's gonna get the whole thing done in roughly a week instead of like two months that it would take to do a paint job on this. Uh, and frankly, not to spoiler alert and plug your ears, it was a lot cheaper than paint, <laughs> a whole lot cheaper. So, uh, I mean, you know, I was getting ready to make a joke about liking them cheap and easy and fast, but that, that is not appropriate for this channel. <laughs> Anyways, you guys all know Jimmy. Jimmy, say hi to the YouTube world. Hello. All right, walk, walk us through what in the heck. So what we're doing, we're laying the silver right now. We're gonna lay it as a solid stripe and then we're gonna come in and put burgundy stripes on top of it or the dark red. Uh, so we get this nice and straight and follow what's there. And then that gives us a solid backbone to, to base all the rest of the wrap off of. Okay. This is what your eye sees as the uh, parallel line. Got that down the middle of it. So once we get this okay. laid, then we'll start laying the red across the top and around the bottom, and then we'll come in probably the final thing and lay all the little individual stripes in. So, Very cool. Very cool. And this is actual colored vinyl. It's not printed. Oh, that was the other so, thing too. We spent up. We're not going that right. cheap on Jimmy's <laughs> World. So yeah, walk us through the the what the difference between a cheap printed vinyl. So printed vinyl is actually printed with, with, with ink onto a vinyl with a laminate put on it. It's a thicker material. Uh, you're not going to get quite the life out of it. The sun, the sun does, does beat it in time. Uh, and also you can't get metallic colors out of print. They're, oh. they're solid opaque colors. Interesting. This looks like paint when it's done. A, yep. a printed wrap will, will, will look good, but it has a flatter you know, finish to it. Okay. And this has a nice high gloss finish like, like a paint. This is what we use like on cars to do, they, they call color change. On, on you know high-end vehicles and so forth so it does it, it looks just like paint that is fantastic okay and if you've seen any of the other videos jimmy has a pretty hard rule about me being anywhere around him he just <laughs> says go away jimmy i'm trying to get something done so with that being said we'll leave him we'll just check back in every once in a while to see how things are going project was so big he had to bring in reinforcements and it was uh, just, Justin. Justin, that's yes. right. Yes. Good to nice have you on board. And he, he came all the way in from where? Indiana. Indianapolis. Indiana. Yeah. Indianapolis, Indiana. Yeah. Yep. Drove Holy down cow. last weekend. Yeah. Man, ready to, to do it. I am. I what am. It's going to be a nice project. I'm excited a, to be a part of it. 
Today's the first day you've seen this, isn't it? This is the first day I've seen it, yeah. What do you think? It's a project. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I was just impressed you guys were able to get it up and get the chassis underneath it and everything, and it's a, it's a great idea. I like seeing it. I've done a lot of things. I've been doing it about 20 years, and never seen anything like this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. I, I called him on this, and he said, absolutely. It's, it's Elvis's jet. I'm there. <laughs> I'm it. I, 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 I just forgot my blue suede shoes. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got a crate chunk. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I'll let you guys get going, but I do have a small surprise for you. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Wait. Wait, you guys can't be alone. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, yeah. Oh, Grizzly, come on in, man. Yeah, this will this will be the uh, thumbnail picture. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, this is one of the things we're going to have at the booth at Oshkosh. You can only get these at Oshkosh because I only ordered a few of them. So if you want one, you're going to have to show up there. Also the Elvis tags, that's right. Once we leave, they're gone off of the website. And when we get to Oshkosh, I'm kind of thinking they're going to sell out because we're talking 700,000 people are going to be at this event. So if you want them, go to savethe310.com. Link is on the description. Get the Elvis tags there. They are once they're gone, they are gone forever. Maybe once in a while somebody will hawk one on eBay or something, but you'll have to play that Russian roulette uh, at that time. All right, gentlemen. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate that. You guys got some good shades. Yeah. These are gonna rock it out for the rest of the time. Grizzly. Oh yeah. I mean, that's it. If really, I mean, that is. With the hat, you almost have to have a hat. Oh yeah, we're gonna have hats there too. I forgot that. And you can you can also buy a hat on the website, save310.com. I'm just plugging. That's all I know how to do now. That's right. Just plug merch and be like, hey, go buy stuff because I'm a YouTube guy and whatever. <laughs> Name of the game. <laughs> Dumb. Hey, let's get it. Okay. okay. All right. Let's get all the silliness done. We're, I'll get out of your way and let you guys actually do something productive. All right. All right. I love these glasses. We are here a couple days later and you'll notice some things have been going on and they're red on this side as well. Uh, Grizzly, walk us around what's happened because I haven't been here so I don't know either. All right, walk us around. I see right away there's a door. Big things, we got a door. We got all this is finished. And, oh, that's right, yeah. So this and, is our... Uh, our inspection is up here. Yep, this is what. And we decided to, it looks like what bolts here. Yeah, um, it's got. They're like rib nuts, but not quite. Okay. They they twist on. On the back. Yeah. It's no. It's it's. Oh, you can't get to it from back there. Yeah, I'd have to take it all apart to show you, but yeah. it's cool. Um, once again, no connection between. Oh, that's right. Because the the fuselage part has to shake and rattle and roll. Yeah. And uh, the, the bottom part is gonna shake, rattle, and roll at a different <laughs> frequency. <laughs> frequency. And uh, see here, what else? Oh, the bumper. Well, we got the bumper cut. It's over bumper, here. It's over here somewhere. Okay. It's with the bumper. Oh, that is cool. Cut, capped, and polished. We got our old school Corvette dual rear lights happening. Yep. And they've. Oh, that is fantastic. They capped it off. Yeah. Polish it because that's all stainless. So that one he said was pretty easy to work with. Yep. So, okay. Okay. Fantastic. What else? All right. We'll come down the right side of the jet first. As you can see, we got lots of vinyl on. Lots of vinyl. Now they still have to put the stripes on. So don't go pounding on the keyboard yet. Just yep. chill. We got our wings capped. Wings capped. Little a little bit of oil canning. Uh, that was just kind of how it turned out, unfortunately. And it was uh, to match, I think, the the wrinkling yes. in the Elvis jet itself. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also keyboard warriors here. Yes, we're gonna cut that out so we can get a tire off. And then we're gonna be putting a skirt up there so it'll have this covered look, but be able to get the tire off. So just, just calm down on the comments there. All right. Got more vinyl going on up there. 
And this is not white, everyone. This will be polished, shiny, shiny metal underneath this. It's just a plastic covering to protect the shiny. Okay. Um, we got a latch for our gear doors here. Oh wait, what kind of latch is that? It's a, it's a, it's a Jeep hood latch. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Dean's still working on the front up here, getting this all tidied up and. So we can kind of hide some of the hoses and cabling and yep. whatnot. Yes, yes. This is gonna have chrome wrappage on it, so it'll be shiny like the rest of it. We got the broken window out. Yeah. We're gonna put the new window in, or yes, the new window in today. We got a hanger for. So the generator exhaust kind of. Yeah, they've been doing. Thing. They're, him and Dylan oh, yeah, have been putting in good work. All buttoned down right now. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, and the cutouts for our stairs. Yep. That are gonna slide chunk down there so we can have 10,000 people climbing in and out of this and thing. Then, and then lots more wrap. I stripes. love the red. It is that that's fancy. the red it was supposed to be. We got this color red from under here. We went under there where the sun couldn't damage it and matched it up to the original red that it was. This is how red that thing was when it was new 50 years ago or something. Yeah. Hey, and there's the fellas there. Hey, how are you? Hello, hello. Got Jimmy. Hello, hello. Vinyl guy. All right, my, it's looking pretty good, man. Yes, it is. Looking pretty good. It's looking shiny again. Back, back to the original colors. <laughs> that's right, that's <laughs> right. Was. What have you found that's been uh, some pain points on trying to get vinyl on this thing? Uh, just kind of working with the old surface. You know, and, and where we get, get overlaps of the vinyl that we've already laid and then and then because you know, the vinyl comes together in the colors, it was a little bit of a of a job at the initial, you know, get getting into that where, where you you can't basically lift it. You know, you gotta get it laid right the first time and leave it there. Uh, it is at all adhering really, really well though. I mean, you know, really yeah, so it, it is. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, once it's on, it's it's on. It's good. I mean I'm happy with the way the way things are going. Now, how long do you, how long is this stuff supposed to last? You'll get out of this a good, probably six to seven years out of it. That's with it being out in the weather all the time. You okay. Know, if you were to keep this in a garage or a hangar, hell, you could get 12, 15 years out of it easily. You wow. Know, like, 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 a, like a paint job for sure. And, and same thing, like, like a paint job being out in the weather all the time. You know, it, you, you're going to get, you know, it's going to stay looking good for six to seven years. It's going to still be on there. You know, yeah, is what it amounts to. But yeah. Just you won't see any sort of fading until no, after that, no. even if it was out in the weather the whole no. time back in New Mexico. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> see, that's the thing with this vinyl. Like I said, this this color change vinyl. The vinyl is actually the color all the way through it. There, it's it's not not it's not like a color that that's uh, you know applied to the top of it. It is actually the color of it. The vinyl is actually cast out in a liquid with the dyes in it. That's what you were through. saying, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. just wild. So the only thing you might get is lose a little bit of the shine over time, but you're not going to lose the color. In it. Fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, Grizzly, I also spied one other thing that's shiny reflecting back over there. The uh, oh, yeah. patch yeah. panel. Yep. Yeah. Covered up our big ugly hole. Yep. Nice. That looks pretty good. Uh, also, I've received no less than a dozen comments. That is not a solid shaft. It has a slip joint on it so that as the fuselage goes up and down this rod, it kind of slips over it so it doesn't create all that tension on the rod. Because, you know, that's how these are supposed to be designed. Even in your car, it has a slip rod on it. So that's what we did. Right. Anything else? Uh, that's about it for progress since the last time you were here. But uh, yeah, we're ready to hit it again and get some more done. Rock and roll. Okay, we have more surprises for you. Uh, and I, I have some ideas for you as well, Beautiful. which you're going to love. Yeah. I think sometimes the easiest way is to just cut all of this off and start over. Hey, look. This is all the wires we need right here for the lights and even for the trailer lights. 
that mess. We are making it much cleaner and getting rid of anything we don't need, including the motorhome. <laughs> it's coming together very nicely. We got a look at our fancy bumper here. Take a look at them lights. Boom. We even have a reverse light, huh? That actually works. And a license plate light that'll go, uh, that lights up. Turn signals, we checked, those work. Fantastic. Next step is our camera system. Start back here with whichever one, that one. Yeah, that one right there. This one, boom, will go up there and uh, wireless. So we just got to run our power wire to it and then connect it. According to the instructions, that's it. I mean, how hard could it be, right? Grizzly said he has a surprise for us in the cockpit. Come on in. Here, I'll take it. It's charging. Grizzly, what do you got? We got instruments uh, and a dash. Wow! Oh, and the transmission thingy goes down there. Yeah. And... Turn signals are gonna go here on this contraption, like that. Fantastic. And it doesn't get in the way of the steering wheel when we turn it. That is wonderful. Here, turn the key on, let's see what it looks like. Fun. What's that? That's the that's your headlights. That's the headlight switch? Yeah. That is fantastic. Oh. Oh we got the brights on. Yep. There you go. Is it going dimmer or brighter? That's brighter. And then we go dimmer. Man, this is fancy! Yeah! Woo! Good job, sir. Bam! All right, we're gonna start peeling some of this plastic off of here so we can uh, see the shiny. Let's go. Look at that. Good that was a good one. Woo. After drilling out this and with extreme thumb precision, uh, get that and these go up there like this, give us some sight down the side of the motor home. We have another one that we're going to be putting up there so we can see in front of us underneath here a little bit. We're getting there. We are on the very last steps. I think I've been saying that for, I don't know, like a month now, but this time it's different. So does that other side over there look really good with it all filled off? It looks really good. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where this camera is going to go. I forgot that they put this on here. We were going to stick it further back but they they put this plenum on here right here which looks nice and it covers up all of our wiring and hoses and everything else going into the airplane so yeah i'm thinking right in right in this area I don't know. we're gonna have to get a screwdriver to the top of it though so they may have to come out here like that what about like that that's not a bad idea That's not too bad. Something like that. I like that. I'm gonna go look at this side. It's shiny now. So let's, let's see what it is. Wow, 
That is shiny. Just a mile of chrome. It reminds me of the uh, the 310. Should it was polished. And Sparrowhawk guys did an awesome job. Wow. Thankfully, this is not going to need polish because it's stainless steel and it should stay nice and shiny. Man, that is... That's pretty cool. <laughs> think it's going to grab some attention? I think so. I mean, besides it being an airplane driving down the road isn't attention enough, you know. Just make it the shiniest thing possible. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I want to get it in the sun just to see how bad it is. Uh-huh. Oh, man, that looks fantastic. I think that is our first camera wired up. Let's go plug it in, see if it turns on. Grizzly is going inside to pull one click on the marker lights that should turn that light on. Uh oh, that's not good. Come on! No. Hmm. Like I said, we're gonna test this camera first. Grizzly, go ahead and turn the lights on. What? Can you turn the headlights on? Come on? Hey, we got light to that. Now let's go into my car, since we don't have that hooked up yet. Cigarette lighter, and it should connect. Uh, there's a button under here. You gotta hold it in. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's blue, it should do something. I don't know. Let's go in the car, plug it in, see what we're looking at. Take this cigarette lighter thing, plug it in. And hopefully this power's on, that's good. Left, that's gonna be right. Oh! <gasps> hey! Look at that! That's what it looks like behind the Elvis jet. And that goes right down the line, look at that. That's the wing stub right there. That is, that's remarkably perfect. Um, view all. We got one. Let's go plug the other one in and see what the other one looks like. Success! Yes. In this crazy, strange world that I live in, now this one should work. All right, Silas, I'll have you climb in there and turn the light on. Ready? Yeah. Lights on. Hey, lights on. Now let's go plug or look at the monitor and see if that's working. Check out our little work step thing that they made. Look at that. <gasps> Wait, that's my side. Left side. Hey, look at that! Okay, now let's... You all. <gasps> cool! Grizzly's right there. Hey! <laughs> look at that! Look at that! That is lined up perfectly. How'd you touch it? Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. But look at how perfectly down the, uh, the side of it at that lined up. Right. Wow, that's amazing. That's I was a really at the ladder. I was like, what the heck is in front of it? <laughs> that's awesome. Can you still see me? Yeah, I still see you. That's perfect. The light spot. Yeah. Because I am directly behind. How? How far up front can you go where the camera is? I still see you. I, I, go, hey, go out this way a little bit like a car in a blind spot. <laughs> Burn. He's got steering wheel and everything. I still got you, still got you. Still got you and right there. 
That's out of shot. Go straight back. Now you're in. That's right there is the corner. Yeah. All right, stay, stay there. All right. Perfectly in line. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right, right in here. Because I'd be willing to bet that if we needed to, we could just look out the window and see yeah. this right here. Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah, I feel better about driving it now. For yeah. Sure. And then when we put that camera under there, so it's gonna be this corner right here is gonna be the danger corner. Yeah. Right here, but I can see the window right there, especially yeah. with the co-pilot. And then when we put our mirrors there, we can try to get them to where they can look down a lot more. Uh, and I found our sh missing screw sets. Huh. You said there was one more in there? Okay, that's four. That's, that's our screw. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm happy about that. Yeah. And now uh, we'll mount that camera under there. And then figure out why that camera back there doesn't turn on. Rock and roll. Yep. Yay, we got that one on and I definitely did not hook it up to the right turn signal wire by mistake. Did not do that. We should have all four. Let's get the camera fired up, see what it looks like. Hey, look at that! And then you can go boop. And then front. The right. Left. And all. Bam. That's really cool. You can see him walking around. And now he's over here. Okay, these also have microphones on them. So do me a favor and go to the rear and then talk to me. Hello! That is really loud! Can you hear me? That is really loud. Is it? Wow. Okay, hang on. Let's see if this got one on the front. It does. <laughs> well, there he is. So what you're saying is, is when we're driving down the road, we're going to be able to hear <laughs> everybody talk about how cool the Amish jet is. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Does it? Okay, the right and the left do not have microphones, but the rear... That's awesome. We got cameras, boys. We got cameras. We're gonna hear everybody shouting, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. We have our cameras all working. We just gotta get power to the inside. And now we have camera system done. I have 28 golf balls here that are gonna help us fix the Elvis jet and keep it rolling smooth down the road. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Hey Grizzly. Yeah. Do you know why we have a whole bunch of golf balls? Uh, well, you said something about dynamic balancing or some science, physics, voodoo. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Have you ever dismounted and mounted semi-truck tires? Never. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, go ahead and stand on there. Get that bead broke on this side. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Do those have tubes in it? Or are they just hard sidewalls? Hard sidewalls, okay. Is the yellow one busted? I think so, yeah, we're good. All right, flip it over, let's get the other side. Look out, pup. look out. Spray the magic juice. Magic juice, that's just Dawn dish liquid and water. Oh, that's the, se the secret is out. Go ahead and spray it though. Yeah, for lube. Yep. 
and he's getting ready to understand the joys of these uh, love bars here. Oh, I can use the plug one. I'll probably break one before the day's out. I, you know, okay, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Yes, all right. I learned this trick from Tim Gentry over at Gentry uh, and Sons. He's the guy that towed the Elvis jet from New Mexico all the way back here to Florida. You're gonna need both of these. Hello. Yep, grab them both. I'll walk you through how to do this. I kind of have an idea how to do this already. Stick that end over there. Yep. Like this. Yeah, all the way in till that's on the, like that. Now stick your other one. Nope, nope, nope. Stick your other one right here. You're gonna need lots of extra room. Okay, now put your foot in the middle. Right here. Now put your other foot. Nope. Right there. Push down on the bead on the tire. There you go. Now work them back. There you go. Boom. Take the little one out. Roll it out. Get another bite halfway between. Right there. Kick it all the way down. Right about there. Yeah. There you go. That one. Now lift up. You. It's it's off. Lift up on this side of the tire. Okay, lift it all the way up. Like all the way on the side. Stand it up. There you go. Now I want you to grab the, uh, that's a small bar bra should work. And stick it all the way, like that. Just under the lip. And now you're gonna drop the tire back toward you and lift up on it at the same time. There you go, like that. Lift it up and drop it. All the way. Stand it up and let the wheel. Now drop it and let the tire do the work. No. Sorry, I'm not being real clear. Here, stand up. Hold the, hold this. And then you go like that. Okay. Piece of cake. Is that a treasure map? I think it has sand in it. Alright, I'll let you All right. tackle that one. Gonna need your other buddy. Yep. Have you ever done these? Oh yeah. Oh. Other way? Yep. There you go. And you want it about a foot apart. It's just like doing a bike tire. Yeah, sl yeah, slightly bigger. Smidge. Here, that, yeah. yeah. Okay, sir. There you go. The trick is to put your foot on this tube back here to push the bead down. And then work one pole at a time. Yes! Put in the comments, you think Grizzly gonna get it on the first shot on this one? There you go. Keep going, like that. Yes! You can get a job at a trucking company now. Tim, he's not for sale, by the way. <laughs> Is that one? We got sand in there, too. Somebody else had to dynamic balancing idea as well. You know, the big RV that I, I've done six of these already with bigger tires on the big brown one. The, uh, the big RV had the balanced beads in it. This has sand in it. Now, we gotta clean the wheel and the lip of the, uh, the wheels. Make sure we got a good bead. We'll mark that, lube it up, and then I'll show you the golf balls. Sweet. We got this tire goo look at that snot ball and then we got to lube everything all around we got to lube the wheel over there that'll make it all slippery and go on all right Grizz grab that tire we want the yellow dot facing away from you and down 
toward the valve stem. We'll do this one first. Okay, yellow dot there. And there's the valve stem there. Yellow dot is there. Now, if you do it just right, you can jump on it and then put your knees on the tire and it'll pop on there. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Now I made a mark right here. Let's make sure that is lined up with our valve stem. Yep, and then grab your, your two bars. Other side, just like that. Now stand up on the tire and stand on that wrench underneath your foot. There you go. Now use that one to work it around. This is where the skill of uh, people I don't know that. Skill. This is <laughs> balance. Yeah. Uh, go under the tire. Flip the flip the spoon over. You're gonna scoop it up this way, right there. Take as small a bite as you can each time around, and make sure that one. Budge. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. Joink. Now it's gonna think that it's gonna slip out, but it won't. You just gotta keep. <laughs> Look at. It's like working on a ship. There you go, there you go. You're, you're all right. The last time I had changed tires like this, I was in tech school in 1997. <laughs> There you go. Now you're gonna to want to keep your foot on the back to make sure that bead doesn't pop up. And right through here is where it may go all the way or you might have a stubborn. Hey! And I just realized we still gotta put the golf balls in it. Normally, I do it in the step before you put this on, but we can still do it with this. So these are dually tires, which are gonna take seven golf balls each. Now, Tim said only put three in there, but I did some Googling and some math and you know physics homework, and according to the charts that I found for the other companies that make these things, it's supposed to be 14 ounces, and a golf ball weighs 1.62 ounces, so if you do some quick public school math, it comes out to more than seven golf balls. However, I only bought seven, so that's what we're sticking in here. So seven is the calculated scientific way to do this. We're doing science here, okay? This is important business. Redneck science. Redneck science. That's uh, Weston Chapman. I have that shirt. I was gonna wear it today because that is one of my favorite shirts ever. All right, let's pop that in there. Somehow. Get in. That's three. Now. Go. Ready. There's four. That's five. Now, did you get the velocity golf balls for speed? I did, yeah. <laughs> I figured it says velocity, it'll make it go faster. Yeah. How many did I put in there? Five. Five, okay. Six, seven. Seven. Yay! Yay! Our valve stem is lined up. Now we need an air hose and poof. Stick it on there and then go test drive it. Hey Check out the film. Well, I did this on the big motor home. Check out the results. Okay.
While making the video for the Elvis Jet tire change, we were also changing tires on this one. Look what we found. This tire has these balance beads in it already, and it was extremely worn down. And you'll notice the inside of the tire actually looks in perfect condition. That is the old tire we took off. And there is the new tire, different brand, so there'll be a different number of ribs, but how cool is that? Wow, so this thing had these in there already. Ha! Huh. I'll be doggone. Look at that. How is it trying to lift and get these tires off? It's not fun. It's heavy. <laughs> 100, what we calculate, the new tire and wheel combo is 183 pounds or something? 82 pounds, crazy heavy. Good job, buddy. We went ahead and did the golf ball thing on this RV as well. This is my first time driving with the golf balls and the wheels. We're, uh, we're gonna see how it does, get it up to highway speed and just see what happens. Keep filming. I'm gonna and look at the steering wheel whenever we get going. If this thing does start to vibrate or shake, you'll see it in the steering wheel. Let's see. Okay. I don't expect anything to happen under 50 miles an hour, honestly. So they're just bouncing around in there right now. There's 30. We got a red light.
this quiet. Oh my goodness. Bam! This is our lead vehicle and what myself and my family is staying in while we're at Oshkosh. Uh, yeah, and we are uh, gonna be on the road hitting Atlanta, Nashville, Graceland, St. Louis, finally coming to Oshkosh. Go to www.savethe310.com, that's savethe310.com. Sign up there for the exact times and dates whenever we'll be at those places. Uh, and you can check out the Elvis jet. Oh, more brake lights. Nike 6 alive. Look, all the New York plates, New York drivers. Shouldn't you guys be back north by now? All right, I just felt a little bit of vibration. Oh. Now it seems to be gone. That was at 55 miles an hour and I'm up to 60. Okay, the vibration's gone now. Weird, I wonder if because of hitting bumps and things, the balls move around, they're re-centering re all the time. Thank you, sir. Another fantastic addition is our stairs that slide into the top of it here so that we can have all kinds of people going up into the Elvis jet. Don't forget, watch your head. This is taking out many a person. We'll have a pool noodle or something on there, but watch your head. And then coming on in, look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. Today is the day. Dean here at his shop. I mean, these guys, the whole team really do just went way above and beyond. Yeah, Knocked it you. out of the park. Uh, we're getting ready to show it off to no less than a million people with yeah. everybody that's going to be watching the videos, plus all the people that are going to see it going down the road. You're going to see people taking pictures and uh, hashtag Elvis Jet. That's you can follow our trip and our journey. Right now we're taking it on the very first drive after all this work is done, and of course it's raining. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's fine. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? And I think our actual first real test drive is when we get on the, on the road to Oshkosh. <laughs> oh, this is such a bad idea. But yeah. uh, Dean, thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad, glad I had the opportunity so to work much. on it. Man, I mean, these guys just knocked it out of the park. So well done. Hope everybody likes it. Oh yeah. Grizzly? Let's go. Grizzly? Yeah. It's all fired up. Coolant. We got all, lots of lights on. Why are there so many lights on? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't like that. Not one bit. That's the first time all those lights have been on. Is the transmission... That's all good? Mm-hmm. Huh. It shifts. Coolant light. It's the one. It's the light to all the engine control stuff. Yeah, yeah that's the air pressure is hard wired. Coolant, battery, oil pressure, all that stuff is. That's coolant level. Park. Water in the gas. Yeah, that's all that. That's all new. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, hey Grizzly. Yeah. I see you're in the driver's seat. Uh-huh. Do you want to drive it? I do. Well, uh, there's only one, one, one issue with that. What's that? You see the shirt I have? It says, I drive the Elvis jet. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, you have to have one of these shirts on to drive it. Uh, well, um, the way I see it is, is I'm bigger than you. So you could try to get me out of the seat. <laughs> or that's why I got you a shirt. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. 
You have, you, it's the only way to drive it is you have to have one of those shirts. And no, they are not available on SaveThe310.com. He's putting, okay, you're not, you're not even getting out of the seat. You're no. taking no chances, are you? No. <laughs> I have worked way too hard for this. Oh, that's funny. We got to go through our checklists up there. Yep, yep. It doesn't. It used to scroll. Okay. There it goes. All right, takeoff checklist. All right, checklist complete. Let's go. I messed with this door for about 15 minutes until I found out this. Hey, I realized this is a lock button. You gotta push that in in order to turn that. And then it'll, it'll lock. See? There you go. Ah! Okay, good, we're not locked in here. <laughs> Remember again and all that? Parting line. Clear! I wanted. There were so many firsts happening right now. This was the first time Grizzly has ever been in the driver's seat. This is the first time we're backing it up using the camera system. This is the first time that we're trying to drive it in the rain. This is only the second time we've ever actually driven this thing. There are so many things happening right now. And yes, our stress level is off the charts. Going back. Okay, now you can crank it all you want. All right, we're going. And yeah, crank it. Nice. Here goes nothing. It took us a few minutes to figure out where to drive this and what the sight picture looked like to make sure we're not in the other person's lane and we're not off on the shoulder of the road. But Grizzly, he got her figured out. My favorite part about the entire drive was how intense concentration Grizzly had and the death grip he was holding on to that yoke. I'm pretty sure it was smooth on the back side when we started, and by the time we got to the shop, there were now permanent finger marks in it. Oh, this is going to take a lot of getting used to. <laughs> Starting to fog up now. Here's the view from the co-pilot seat. Hey, we got Sparrow Hot guys coming in today. That's the other reason we gotta get it over to the shop so they can detail this thing. Cause uh, it's got it's got some grime on it and some work grime. Yes. Oh, we're at a stoplight idle. Let's we want the door. That, that view's not so bad. What's the back? Is there somebody behind us? Yep. We got a whole line of traffic behind us. Oh, okay. good. That's awesome. Yeah. Grizzly, what do you think? I think it's awesome. That's your business. We need lots of practice. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to get it on our way to Oshkosh. What do we got? Yes. We got more cameras. <laughs> Everybody that's going by has their phone out. Well, this ain't exactly something you see every day. I don't know why not. This is pretty awesome. We're going. So this is gonna be our first attempt. Oh, well, that's our, uh, good, good corner. This is our first attempt at going above 45 miles an hour.
first gray one and blocked in. Easy, easy, easy. Need, oh, shoot! Nice. This thing's got a turning radius as good as my car. It's like a F-250. I kept wondering what that noise was. It's a speaker on the back camera. Yeah. All right, top speed, here we go. We have a small air leak. Oh. And smelling, I smell an oil leak somewhere. Hey, we made it, Grizzly. Good job. Good job driving it for the first time. Are you ready for a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like a massive air leak up there. Yeah, that wasn't like that before. No, I mean, we've messed with it so much. I'm Probably wondering if something welded, melted through it. That's what I'm knows. thinking. Yep, that's why we're here. We got a few bugs to figure out. And then our lights that we got to figure out. Now I got to get the big motor home out, hook that up, take it to the house, load that thing up, finish this, let these guys detail this thing, <clears throat> and then load this up with all the merchandise. And that's, uh, we're into the hours mark now. But we still got days. You know. Days. Three days. You guys remember Ryan, although he looks a little cleaner than he did last time. This is the guy that polished the 310 from Sparrowhawk. These guys are back at it again. And then we have a new guy, yeah, Ben. Ben, he is uh, opening up a branch in Orlando, Orlando. right? Yep. That's fantastic. Yep. He's here in Tampa on this side of the, the Florida. Yep. They're going to be here helping us detail this thing, just wiping it down, clean it up. Thankfully, he doesn't have to polish it. How do you feel about that? I feel much better about not mm. polishing it. Yeah, because so that, that's almost as much metal work as the 310. Just about. Just yeah. about. It's getting close. The difference is this is stainless. Stainless, I know. That's yeah. a big thing. We're stepping up We're going to give him all the stainless. <laughs> yeah, this is fantastic. I'm going to get out of your way and let okay. you guys do what you got to do. Cool. I am uh, thankful that it's raining because that means it's not as hot, yeah, especially in good. this shed. Yes. It's crazy hot. It's a free treatment. It's a free clean. That's right. That's right. It's like the dust down. Yeah. So cool. we rinse it off for you. Cool. Yeah, yeah, thank thanks. You. You're welcome. Uh, You're yeah, welcome. Good. Cool. We're going to get to it. All right. We discovered our first fatality. The uh, exhaust for the, for the generator. It caught on that steering arm right there and then bent it back. Okay, good. So now you can see it's all kind of sort of bent. It's supposed to be a straight line from there. It takes a detour and comes somewhere over here now. Okay, well, let's uh, see if we can't bend that a little bit. And if not, we'll have to cut it off and just stick a long one on there and redo our rod there, I guess. Yep. Yep, there you go, boys. That's why we do our test drive. And thankfully, we don't even use a generator for anything yet. No, not yet. All right, so uh, let's start from this side on our list. Visibility, camera system. Check. Lighting, headlights. Check. Parking lights. Check. Turn signals. Yep. Brake lights. Uh-huh. Even reverse lights. Ooh. <laughs> HVAC run power cable. No. Nah. Instruments, mount turd signal switch. Check. Mount cluster. Check. Air suspension control system. I guess. Check. -ish. Sure. We don't know. Adjust front brakes. They work. Yeah. yeah. Aircraft lighting. Yeah, we'll have to wait for Watt to figure that out. Generator output wiring, battery switch. Nah, yeah. okay. And that's all done. That's our chassis. We got bumpers on it. Yep. Mud flaps. We don't need mud flaps. We're good. Skirting. Check. Steps. Check. Wow. <laughs> Ryan? Yes, sir. What do you think, man? Thinking it's getting cleaner. Yeah, we can clean. We need to add some lights in here, don't we? A little bit. Yeah, we're getting there. Though. Plug her, plug it in, and then we can get more lights going. Yeah. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm the TV. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. And that was put in when Elvis owned it. Yeah. So he put in the TV. There's a VCR. 
behind this right here. Mm -hmm. All that stuff was put in. The microwave, yeah, yep, yeah. all that stuff, yeah. Cool. Was this, yeah, this is the first time you've been in it, isn't it? Yes, sir, yeah. Oh, really? Yes, sir. All right, yeah. initial, initial uh, reaction. From the detailer, how nasty was this thing? I mean, for sitting and what it is and what it is now, it's way better. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen worse. Yeah, I've that's... I've seen worse from non-abandoned airplanes. That's so, right. If that counts for anything. Sitting for 41 years. All right. And you are the first person to clean it in 41 years. I can tell. Yeah, can dusty. Tell. But it's, it doesn't <laughs> no, have the mildewy, it doesn't have the I funky thought. smells and yeah. all that. Yeah, we're going to finish it with a, a little finisher to kind of kill any of that odor uh, that we can. But 41 years of odor. I'm this. not a magician. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, we're uh, just wrapping up. We're going to stripe the carpet yeah, so this, it's nice and appealing. Looks good. And, uh, we'll be done before you know it. Fantastic. Yeah. You're rocking it, Ryan. I'm trying. We are totally done with the Elvis jet, but we forgot to test one thing. We have not tested the, uh, the stairs since we put this on. <laughs> we have no <laughs> idea if it's going to clear or not. Uh, so, yeah, throw in the comments. <sighs> I think it will. I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Can you uh, just double check me and make sure it's not gonna... Uh, come out. Go. Not worried. I'm, I'm just making got lots of room. I knew it was gonna work. So I bought this at Mecham Auction on Elvis's birthday, January 8th. Priscilla was there hammering uh, the gavel there. And it is so! I just bought the Elvis jet for $234,000. What an idiot! And how awesome is that? Best financial decision ever. It needed some work. We knew it would never fly again, but I had a plan for it. We went to New Mexico, cut the wings, cut the tail off of it, brought it back. Thank you, Tim Gentry, for that. He's got some great stories there. Check his channel out. Then we were donated this motorhome chassis from Louie and his wife. Thank you guys so much. Originally, it was for Wings of Compassion, my nonprofit serving veterans through aviation, wingsofcompassion.com. Boom, plugged it there. So if you want to support that, go there. And we'll be talking more about that here in just a second. Well, the motorhome was abandoned for nine years and turned out to be honestly kind of a piece of junk, except for the frame and the running gear. That part miraculously worked fantastic. The alignment of the front tire, that's the way it was. We didn't change anything to make that happen. Also, check this out. We come back here. Well, let's stop here. The alignment of the rear tire right under where the wing goes. Also did not plan that. It just kind of miraculously worked. And then the engine right here under the back part that is not in the, uh, the enclosed area. Helicopter people. Am I right? Don't look up. <laughs> then we took it over. We got it mounted up. You can see where it's mounted on there. We got the steering connected here with this. Uh, and then we took it to Dean and his sheet metal guys spent at least 300 hours creating the bottom part here like you see it. Four state trucks. I mean, they came through with the bumper, the lights, and the... We got a, a, a special gift underneath that we'll have to discuss later. But we got lights. This is a chrome wrap. Thank you, Jimmy, for that. Uh, 
metal work here. Oh, this is a neat detail. Look at this. It has a generator right there. We can get to it and be able to turn it on and check and do all that kind of stuff. It's the details that count. That's fantastic. Also, they made this plenum here to cover that. We have a camera system right here so we can see all the way. And I forgot to show you, we got a camera up front as well. So we got all four views, camera mounted. We have some stairs that go in right here. Hot, that's warm when the sun's on it. Those will uh, show you that in a little while. Then uh, we got, of course, your marker lights, all that fancy stuff. And the, this is vinyl striping. 1,100 square feet of vinyl went on this. And again, Jimmy, he did it, vinyl guy. Elvisjet.com. I got a new domain, by the way. All of it is for this project. And we pause again for helicopter people. Back at it here, we got skirts here so we can still get the sleek look and change a tire. Lord willing, that doesn't happen. Then, uh, yeah, more stripes here. This is where the old engines went. They created a metal thing there. There you go, that's that. The best part is back here. Go ahead and take it wide and show the back here. Boom. Because we're all shook up. That's right. Elvisjet.com, fantastic. This door, camera back there, check it out. And that's the old ugly jet still inside with all of our electronics and batteries and all that fun stuff. Got that in there. Nice. It goes down, engine in there. We got this for our cover here so we can check oil and that kind of a thing. Bumper here, again, four state trucks. You guys rocked it, came through with this polished stainless or you know shiny stainless i'm not sure the right term on that we even have a reverse light how neat is that and more on this side oh the mirrors i forgot to show you guys the mirrors and our gas we got gas caps right here on both sides they still kept them so and there there there's holes there for draining and all that stuff so when water gets in there it drains out the Rockstar mirrors, again, four state trucks uh, sent us those and said, here, put those on there, that should work. We have them with these little bolts right here so it shows we can just pop them off so that it looks a little more sleek and airplane-y. So now let's look at the inside. Yes. Just, yeah, that's, that's fine. Welcome to the Elvis Jet. First up, let's check out the cockpit. We'll throw our camera system on right here. That's where all those come. Then we have our instruments for the engine right there. All of it, brake, all that stuff works. Transmission, we mounted down here. Uh, windows open, which helped for a little bit of a breeze. Still needed some AC in this thing, but we're getting there. We also, BAS, those guys are absolute rock stars. have saved us on so many projects. They have new seats that we're gonna be replacing these with because they're clearly torn up and they're ratted out pretty bad. But they have new seats. They also have new uh, headliner panels that we'll put in here to replace these because they're all bent and heat rotten and everything. <gasps> Ta-da! That's kind of neat. That's my favorite part. Let's hear what they're saying back there. I can't tell. Anyways. Okay. Let's look at the back now and look how clean it is. Because Sparrowhawk, I'm just throwing out all kinds of people that's made this happen. Uh, and really have. I mean, this is unbelievably clean. This is speechless. Absolutely speechless. So thank you, Sparrowhawk, for bringing Ryan over and detailing. Check them out, they do airplanes and RVs and all that good stuff. They're airplane people as well. Bathroom, we got all the drawers in and everything, so that's all working good. I think we're ready to get on the road to Oshkosh. Uh, there's one small thing, like all big projects, as soon as we 
got it, everything was working perfectly fine. And then as soon as we started up to pull it out of the metal shop, we've got like six check engine light warning lights on the dash. Cannot figure out what it is. Some wire got pinched or shorted somewhere or ground got pulled or something. We have no idea, but it's the most annoying buzzer on the planet. Let's get back outside. It's, it's pretty warm in here. Follow our journey, hashtag Elvis Jet. We're gonna be stopping at Atlanta, Nashville, Memphis. We gotta to go to Graceland. And then the St. Louis, Chicago, and then on up to Wisconsin. There's one person that I need to thank in a very special way. Grizzly! Yeah! Come here! I'm coming! Look at that! He's hot. That run and hustle. Army of one. You guys know Grizzly. You've seen him around. If it wasn't for you, this thing, not in a million years, would have gotten done. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity because it's been a blast. I have a gift for you. This is not just any Elvis tag. This is the only Elvis tag that is personally engraved with Grizzly. That's, that's for you, my friend. Thank you. We're not hugging. No, uh, we're close. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, man. Look at that. Grizzly. That. Yeah, without you, this would have never and never would have gotten done. I don't have the attention span. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's ready to go in an eight by ten frame to frame it, and put it up. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm. I'm. I, I, that's only words that can come out right now. I'm. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Really do. You put up with a whole lot of terrible crap. <laughs> It wasn't that bad. I've had worse projects. Well, there's there's always the next one after this. Well, thank God. <laughs> it, it'll be much worse than this. I hope not. It might be. We don't know yet. Anyways, are you ready to drive this thing 1,600 miles to Oshkosh, Wisconsin and show it to 700,000 people? When are we leaving? Uh, in in, a, in about 36 hours, actually. I'm packed, I'm ready to go. Alright, let's go.